Now to a CBS2 exclusive. A Queens man says he and his family are living in fear after he was assaulted right outside of his home in South Ozone Park. And tonight he spoke only with CBS2's Naveen Dhaliwal. Harbhajan Gotra showed us his stitches on his head, five of them, and in his native language of Punjabi, he told us about the brutal attack. <laughs> it was last Thursday when Gotra says he was walking out of his home on 134th Street near Sutter Avenue just before noon when a group of men approached him. <laughs> Within seconds, the 42-year-old says, one one man pulled out a knife and began stabbing his head, leaving him bloodied and disoriented. As Gotra sat gravely injured with his children inside his home, a neighbor called 911 and the news of the attack began to circulate. So did the fear. It's a very um, uneasy feeling right now. My brother-in-law lives a block away from, from this, uh, where this incident happened. Local activist Japneet Singh and the founder of Kalsa Patrol, a neighborhood watch program, says this attack now is causing many to be uneasy. When something like this happens at someone's doorstep, it really begs us to ask ourselves, hey, are we safe even walking across to the street to go gra grab like groceries? For Gotra, recovering from his injuries, is one thing, but also bruised is his sense of security. Police say right now they're looking for one person who took off in a white Honda Accord. They're also looking for a motive behind the attack. So far, no one has been arrested. In South Ozone Park, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.